All right, here we are on Canva. Canva is um, a web design site that lets you create a free account with your school email um, and lets you use various templates. I'll just go over the templates uh, across the top. There's social media, personal, like resumes, postcards, t-shirt design, uh, business cards and logos under business, marketing, if you wanted to make a brochure or a poster for a class, a book report, um, education, there's some bookmarks and schedules, storyboards, we'll, we'll get into that at another time. YouTube intro, I haven't, messed, I haven't used the video tools at all, um, but one of your classmates has, so maybe he'll talk about it later. Um, over to social media, temp, back to templates, I'm sorry. Over to social media, you can do an Instagram story, post, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn banner. I don't know many teenagers uh, using a LinkedIn banner, but it's there. Uh, Instagram post, I did find uh, experimenting with Canva yesterday that selecting the Instagram post gives you the perfect size for uh, creating a photo or uh, an infographic, although under marketing there's the infographic. But the Instagram post is a perfect size for creating a photo for your Google site. Um, so I enjoyed that. But what I want you to do today, or I'm going to show you, is how to change the header or banner on your Google site to something that you personally designed. So on the search bar at the top of the screen on Canva, you're going to type in Google. And it automatically it suggests Google Classroom header. Now it's 1920 by 480 pixels, I believe, uh, and it's just the size. That's why we're using the this template. Mine's still my. There we go, spinning. Uh, all of these are pre-made templates that you can use. Most of them are free, and you could use, uh, select one and then change anything about it and then download it and use it for your uh, Google site. The ones with the little black circles and the dollar sign, those are premiums. Those are things you have to pay for. Um, we're not paying for anything. E even if you wanted to, you're, you're not paying for anything. So we're using anything if it's free, it's for me. Um, on the upper left, there is a create a blank Google Classroom header. That's, um, and I'm flipping over, and let me flip my screen. And I'm waiting for it to load. So here we are on Canva with a blank template. It's a blank screen, blank canvas, blank piece of paper. Um, and what I like about it is we can design everything ourselves, and the image, the size, is perfect for Google Sites. Um, unlike Google Sites, the uh, sidebar, or the tabs, are on the left. So let's just go over the different options that you have with Canva. There's the pre-made templates, like we saw in the splash, pa splash page. Uh, you can go through and look at them, play around with them later. I'll give you time to do that. There are uploads. Now, these are all different images that I've uploaded the last few days um, going over how to use Canva for your uh, Google site. You can upload videos and audio. I haven't gone that far yet. Photos. These are, these are stock photos that Canva has that most of them, um, as you hover over the different image, will say if they're free or not. Most of them are free. I haven't come across any that are paid. Um, and there's a lot of different topics, things you can look at. There are elements. You can think of elements like clip art or stickers, uh, and you can just scroll through and see different things you want. can use, shapes and frames, uh, stickers, charts, um, gradients all sorts of images. I'm going to give you time to look at that. I'm not going to go through all of these because even I haven't explored all of them yet. There is text. You can do all sorts of different text. There's music. Haven't done anything with that yet. 
um, videos. I did try to use a video on a site's banner. It did not work the way I was doing it. So maybe somebody that's more tech savvy than I could figure out how to make that work. Um, there's backgrounds and folders. Folders, I'm pretty sure that's all your own work. And I, as you can see, I haven't created any yet. But I'm gonna go with backgrounds because I wanna keep things kind of basic and simple to begin with. Uh, you can see recently used, so if you liked one, you can go back and use it again. Um, there are patterns, gradients, abstract designs, food, textures, flowers, nature. Um, I'm feeling a little nature-y today, so let's see what we got in nature. Plus the sun shining in, and Miss Tammy was nice yesterday and came through and cleaned the windows in here, so the windows are clean. I'm pretty happy. Although I would like it if it was just a tad bit warmer, but, you know, spring's coming. Um, that's cool. So uh, I'm going to select the hot air balloon. So here we are. Uh, and you're thinking, oh, that'd be cool if there was a little bit more. Well, I'm pretty sure if you select the crop button, it gives you the whole image that they had used, and you can move it up or down. And I'm going to just add just a little bit of dramatic interest and have just a little bit of that one balloon cut off, and then I'm going to select Done. So now, oh, that one's like right in the sun. I don't know if I like that. Let me play around with that again. I guess, I guess that part I can't change. Let me go back to done. So here we are. Beautiful uh, hot air balloon. My uncle has one, although I'm too chicken to go up in it because I'm afraid of heights. Uh, and I like that background. Now I want to use it for my Google site. I don't want to add anything more. I just want to use that image. Uh, you can do a couple things right now. You can title it. Uh, sites or whatever balloons doesn't matter it's your stuff um, you have to down oh I spell I spell balloons I'm gonna do it loose let me do it right uh, download it to your Chromebook I usually just click exit but you can hit Select Continue Editing. Now comes the interesting part. We're going to go to our Google site. And I'll show you in just a second. I'm waiting for my Google site to load. Okay. Still loading. As you can see, I already um, changed one of the pages, the banner on the page. So let me look at another one. Okay, perfect. So I downloaded the image to my uh, computer. And you can download from Canva onto your Chromebook. And now I need, in order to change it, I need to change image over on the left and upload. So I need to upload from my computer to Google Sites. And I wish it was more seamless uh, to go from Canva to Google. Um, I haven't quite figured it out if it is. And there we go. It changed my image. I can, if I wanted to make the banner larger 
and or have it cover the whole thing or just have it as a smaller banner. I like it as the smaller banner. I can take the, the title out or just leave it at it as is. Right now, I think I'm going to leave it as is. So that's how you change your Google Site banner using Canva.